What is the crack, lads? We are getting into the last couple of episodes for this Dream Team series where we take a look at the best players for all positions, for all budgets. So if you've been here for all these episodes, cheers for checking it out and for all the recommendations. And if not, go back and check out some of the other positions after this video. We're going to be taking a look at this player, Victor Ibarbo. He is going to be our budget SS. So second striker, shadow striker, whatever way you want to describe it as your SS in uh, eFootball's dream team, he is our budget option. Now, you can see that Victor Ibarbo is, is kind of asleep, right? He's chilling out, man. He's he's resting his eyes because he's just that much of a beast. He's 31 years of age. He's 64 overall, and he's playing in the J-League. He's got really nice player skills. He's got long throw. He's got super sub, which is very, very good as well. For this budget, 3,400, one of the cheapest options in the game. You boost him up to an 80, maxed out. He's quite a demon with 72 speed to increase there. Next up, we have got Farfan. So this guy is playing, uh, He's I think he's playing for Allianz Lima. I think that's the team. Look at the positions he can play. He can play left, mid, left, wing, right mid, right wing, SS, AMF, and center forward. So he can play pretty much all the positions that you possibly need if you want a utility man. Sometimes these guys are really, really good to have and really um, give you an advantage if you want to throw somebody in to have a bit of a mismatch, you know, on the wing or up front or whatever. If you're playing smaller based squads, cheaper squads. For 7,500 GP, this guy is a bit of a unit as well. 69 overall, you can boost him up to mid 80s quite easily because he is a low rated player. Next up, we've got Rodriguez. So we're now getting into the 22,000 range. This guy is obviously chilling out as well. We can see there that he's 36 years of age, SS, whole player. He's got a lot of player skills. So first time shot, one touch pass. This guy's able to link up a lot of play. For 22,000, I think he is the pick of the bunch. He's kind of an under the radar player. He's got a lot of really key stats. You boost up his speed here, right? And it doesn't take much to get him up to an 80 overall player. You boost up his speed here. This guy can just play in the hole and pick off shots left, right, and center. Bring in the wingers into play. Link up with the center forward if you're playing a two-man pronged attack. If you do want to play two CFs up front, the next video will cover that, but we'll get into that next. 100,000 gets you Zhao Felix. Again, I've left out a couple of players, but it is slim pickings for the SSs in this game. Zhao Felix, I think, is better on the wing. He's not the fastest, but his dribbling is insane. He's 22 years of age. No look pass, true pass, and one touch pass. You can play him as a left mid, left wing, or else an attacking mid, and he will be able to link up to play perfectly. In fairness to him, right, I think Joe Felix is best used as kind of like a, a messy, a cheaper budget messy, you know, that type of role. Now, we'll be getting to even better players in a minute. But for 100,000 GP, if you're looking to have that link up front where you don't want two CFs, you want a link man, he is the guy to do it if you're not playing an AMF. Griezmann. Obviously, Griezmann has been a beast in the last couple of PES games. He looks really nice here as well. He's got really good player ID. Griezmann is one of these players I've mentioned before that he plays above his stats. So there are certain animations and player ID uh, movements that he has that will incorporate into his game style when he's playing. He's got unwavering form as well. He does fit into a veteran squad quite easily. But it's the ball control, right? If you were to upgrade this guy, as I said already, I think you should be using SSs. If you're not going to use an SS as a link man, like in a more advanced attacking midfielder, I think you're better off go with two center forwards up front. You know, one fast, one strong. But if you are looking for an attacking midfielder, these three guys here, you know, there's, there's a lot in it. There's a lot in them where they're able to actually produce the goods when they are in that link position where it's like attacking midfielder and when you're able to get that more advanced role. Dybala is probably the one that I would probably get. The only problem with Dybala is that his form is inconsistent. So his rating is A this week. It could be anything next week with the player update or when they do start doing the live updates or stopping the live updates. We don't know what's going to happen there yet. Check out my other video on that with the form. That is going to be a problem. But 83 balance, he's like a massive a massive upgrade on the rest of the players in this, I think, for his pure speed, tight possession, ball control, and finishing is 73, which is quite good. And then we've got Thomas Muller. So Muller is a very polarizing player. Potentially for me, I was really put off by him. I tried him in training mode, and he's like, he's just too slow. But the more people I talk to, for 200,000 GP, you can play him as like a really good architect up front where he's just going to sit in the hole and really just pull in all the team around him. So if you play him just sitting off a center forward, off the shoulder of a center forward, and you've got a very fast pacey center forward that you can bring into the game, 
I think that you've got really good stats here. Low pass 78, offensive awareness 86. He's going to be unbelievable at making runs from the AI. He's just going to be running everywhere and very hard to track. And then he's also got a lot of player skills that you can check out as well. Now, we do have a comparison here on eFootballDB of the three guys that we spoke about. Obviously, you can see here, you know, there's not a lot between the comparison between them all, I think, apart from the price and the GP. But I do think that if you are looking to buy an SS... I genuinely do think you need to buy somebody that is here if you've got the budget for it. If not, just wait until the next episode or wait to buy a centre forward that has a good like a good link up play. Because there's no point having an AMF and having an SS. There's no point having an SS if you're going to be just trying to use him as a centre forward. You know, like rolling defenders, turning and trying to shoot. But that is a nice little handy comparison there between the three top boys in this SS position ranking so yeah that is it for me lads we'll be back with center forwards it's going to be a big episode for that with a lot of players i think it's 12 so there's a lot of hidden gems in that and a lot of player reviews so make sure you check that back and i will talk to you later lads peace